Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Last year at this time, we're telling you about a move by the Croslack School District to become a year-round district. So this, this week on Dateline Schools, the second year of the program is about to start, so we're getting an update from the Croslack Superintendent, Kevin Miller. And Kevin, how would you access that first year of year-round schools? You know, amazingly, several districts around the state have contacted us this past year to talk to us about year-round schools. So what were the negatives? We didn't have any. We just had no negative. The parents loved it. The kids loved it. The staff loves it. We did it totally voluntary, so there wasn't like we shoved anybody into it. We just offered it out as an opportunity for a balanced calendar throughout the year, uh, and our parents accepted it. Our kids had a great time, uh, and our staff spread the word among our other staff. We have a waiting list of staff who wants to get in now, uh, and we have about an additional 90 students that have started this week in uh, year two of our year-round program. How many students were actually in the program last year? We had 200 162 a year ago. We're going to be right around 350 or so. So it's about 90 new kids. We've added four new sections for year two, and it's now grown to kindergarten through seventh grade. And then the following year, when that seventh grade groups move up, will be K-8 uh, the following year. Do you see ever, uh, and I don't know of any districts across the country that are actually K-12 as a year round. Do you see that happening? There are, there are states that do an early August start, uh, and they do a June stop, and they spread the calendar out a little bit more but you're right I don't know of any uh, high schools that are truly 12 months a year there's usually that July period that that's off uh, but as we're looking toward the future we're looking at how it will work with high schools and we've uh, as you know we, we've a pretty innovative group of people we don't think in the box there is no box with us so we've looked at how it would work uh, with a high school and I can certainly kind of give you a couple ideas on how that might look down the road more like a college type atmosphere for high school talk about a paradigm shift for k-12 education it is certainly is but it's it's what's right for kids that break especially for for our at-risk population is huge and it certainly can give you some some early data on what we've seen as far as learning more tomorrow for dateline schools i'm terry harrington